G'day guys, Cool Signs Sticks here. Today I've got a overview of uh, my main gel blast that I use. Uh, this is something that I bring to every game day uh, and it's set up just for the way that I use it. So, without further ado, here we have it. Uh, this is by Jinming M4A1 Gen 9. From uh, I bought this from X Force Tactical um, a little while ago. So we'll start at the business end. Uh, to start with, I have the Riser R1 hop up on the uh, end, which is just attached to the inner ba alloy inner barrel that I have. This is a really good uh, hop up unit. You know, like I said, um, it's alloy itself, fully adjustable. I run this on pretty much all my blasters. Uh, moving along, uh, so. Front handguard is the uh, SLR handguard as the full nylon handguard as well. I like it, the fact that it's full nylon because it's much lighter, um, more manoeuvrable, and I don't fatigue as much after after enduring games. Now, on the front as well, I have mounted the Surefire MK300 uh, replica flashlight with the pressure pad uh, mounted on top of my rail. So, nice easy um, way to use my light there. On the bottom I have uh, just a generic angled foregrip. Uh, I believe I purchased this one from M4A1. Uh, it's good, very comfortable. Like I said, it allows me to mount the blaster back into my shoulder a bit more uh, and still have access to my um, pressure pad and keep that good sort of C-clamp grip. Moving along, uh, I have the Trigicon MRO red dot sight. Uh, this is really good. Uh, again, purchased this from RA Armament. Um, the batteries on this are a bit, it goes through batteries quite a lot. Um, I don't know if that's just something that I'm doing or not. Um, yeah. But just to be aware that you purchase one of these, it does chew through the batteries fairly quickly. Uh, full nylon upper and lower receiver as standard with the, Gen, uh, the Jinming Gen 9s and Gen 8s. Nothing wrong with that though, again, keeps it nice and light. Uh, nylon butt stock, which is also just comes stock with the blaster. Uh, I have broken the um, little toggle thing to allow it to retract. Um, but so I'll probably end up replacing this butt stock anyway. Now the, uh, the blaster itself, um, I have attached to it as well the Mark II uh, sling by Twin Falcons, um, and I've used the poor man's version. Don't know if you can see that, but I've got um, bungee cord basically. And the reason for that is because I cannot be bothered to go out and buy QD mounts, and also this clip doesn't actually attach to that bit there. So that's the reason why, and if you don't like it, well, that's you to you. Now the couple of things that I do, although I am waiting on, I am waiting on one thing for this, um, for that pressure pad for my light, um, it's held together obviously with the with Velcro cable management tie, zip tie things. Um, I do have a mole, I can't remember what the called um, X-Force is selling them at the moment so I've got that coming for it um, so basically what I'll do is I'll super glue then the pressure pad into the mold and then the mold attaches to the rail via um, a Picatinny mount so that's really cool um, so that allows me to then remove this light and the pressure pad and put it on another blaster if I needed to uh, if then most of my blasters now all have their own individual lights but if I, in case I get more in the future, I can just swap them out as I need. So I've got um, a pair of black ones and a pair of uh, coyote brown ones coming as well, um, which will go onto my Vector and my other Gen 9. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, oh, sorry, I lied. Internals. I am running uh, just a Stage 1 upgrade kit from x -Force Tactical, which is just your green O-ring, and I think it's a 1.25 unequal spring. Uh, getting about, uh, I'm averaging 290 to 300 uh, with that uh, with those upgrades. Um, the upgrade kit obviously also comes with the alloy barrel, 
Uh, in this one in particular, I actually went and bought another alloy barrel, uh, 500 mil. No, I lied. I did use this, um, the one that comes with it in this. So yeah, this has the standard alloy barrel in it. My other Gen 9 has a um, secondary brought one. So yeah, that's pretty much about it guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, um, do let me know. I lied, this isn't it. I am looking at getting a run cam for this, as well as a, another, um, I also mount my GoPro on the top using a Picatinny rail mount. Um, but I'm wanting to get a run cam. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if there's any good ones on the market that you guys recommend. Leave it in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram. Um, I read my DMs every day, so it's probably the best way to get in contact with me. But I am going to make the effort to, and let's be honest, I can make the effort and it's going to happen. I'm going to answer all the com reply to all the comments uh, on these videos. So, yeah, if you guys have any good recommendations, uh, please leave them in the comments or DM me, whatever you, whatever you choose to do. Uh, thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you next video.